Let me just warn you before time. This is going to be a wild ride because I don't know what the frick I'm doing. So this is probably going to be really, 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 really unhinged. Huh? What's this? Whoa. Now that's awesome. Hey guys, it's Agent Lucky 13 Studios here with a brand new video for you. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought we would do something a little bit different than what I'm used to doing on this channel because we're going to be attempting some hairstyles. I have to level with you guys. I have no idea how to do doll hair, like at all. My camera keeps stopping by itself for no reason, so that's great. I've been watching a lot of different tutorials and hairstyle videos on Instagram and TikTok, and everybody makes it look so, so easy to do all these cute little styles. So I thought today that we would do a video practicing or attempting, hair is gonna probably be the better word, attempting these cute hairstyles from Instagram on my dolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the materials that I'll be using to accomplish these hairstyles today. So of course we have a doll brush. This is just a wire wig brush from our generation at Target. Never ever use a plastic bristle brush on your dolls or a brush that's been used on your head. The oils from your hair will ruin your doll's hair. And the wig bristles, the low wire bristles, keep the wig from getting broken quite as much as it would with a plastic one. I also have an un well, unused toothbrush that's never been anywhere near a mouth that I use with a little bit of water for flyaways. A spray bottle with water, a necessity for all hairstyles for dolls. A jar that has a bunch of human sized bobby pins. We're gonna be making do if I need them. And of course the star of the show, the clear hair elastics, which Austin so graciously picked up for me on the way home from work today. He is such a star. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna attempt at least, I hope five, maybe not this time, we might do a part two for this, <laughs> but five hairstyles on my doll's hair from Instagram videos. I'm gonna show the video on screen right here so that you can see what I'm seeing. And of course, I'll credit the original artist or TikToker or whoever they are. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the first one. This was called an easy braid tutorial, but I called it braided pigtails. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate those front sections. Kind of grab a section of the hair from the front of her face. It was a pretty decent size section, so I think I'm gonna grab from the front to the end of this highlight. This is not a tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am an amateur when it comes to doll hair. That is all. All right, so I've got my front section here. See about where it stops on the wig cap. Make sure I've got all the pieces that need to go with it. Okay, I think I like that section. So, and we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna set it aside for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a bobby pen from my jar. And this is gonna be really, really silly, but we're going to take the bobby pen, we're gonna put it in the hair like this. And then I am going to take the hair and I'm going to pin it down her shirt here. Okay, now that's out of the way at least. We're gonna do the same with the other side. So I'm gonna try my hardest to grab an equal amount that I grabbed from before. And now we're gonna take that section and we're going to do the same thing. Put it in a bobby pen. Again, we're going to pin it down the front of her shirt. Next thing we're going to do is form the two little ponytails here at the back of the head. Think we're good put in the first ponytail. We're gonna take one of my little rubber bands and we're going to use another doll's hair to wrap it back in a little ponytail. I really hope this doesn't tangle in my doll's hair. I have never used these before, but this is what they use in all the hair tutorial videos that I watched. Wrap it around a few times. I don't like that sound. And hopefully 
will have a decent looking ponytail. No! My front piece came out. Hold that for me. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Okay, on camera, that doesn't look bad. Next, we're gonna repeat with the other side. Hopefully easier. And we're gonna put another ponytail in. Give it a little tightening. And look at it from the front. Girl, that looks pretty good. There's definitely more hair on this side of the ponytail, but I think that is something we can look past for this one time. <laughs> I'm not angry. Yo, no! My hair tie just like a, demolished itself. I was gonna have to redo that side anyway, wasn't I? Oh yeah, that looks better. This is not going well. This is not going well. Do you ever just get frustrated because your dolls won't sit up? Same. Already been 22 minutes just trying to do this one. This is just a mess of dark hair. Just like when I tried to do my hair when it was super long. There we go. Okay, now they're about the same height and about the same size. Not bad. Here's the rest of that, that one that broke. <laughs> this is not going well. I think we'll call that good enough. Okay, overall, it is not bad so far. It does not look horrible. Now we're gonna do the front pieces. She braided those. So now we're gonna take this front piece and we are going to braid it and push it back onto the ponytail holder. And it'll look cute. Great, okay, next we're going to do the same thing with our other side. Okay, hold on, I gotta get close for this. So next, we're gonna take our two braids that are in the front here. We can't just leave them, although it looks very main character, not gonna lie. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take the braid and right here at the end where it meets our pigtail, we are going to make a little hole with our finger. So just like this, I'm gonna poke my finger through it. There's my finger. I'm gonna pull the braid back, pull the pigtail forward and loop our pigtail through the hole where our finger was. Better than I just did. Pull the pigtail through the back of the braid. And hopefully that looks cute. Does it look bad from the front? Just gonna tighten a few things. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think this did good. I think it did well. I think I did a hairstyle. Oh, you guys, I think I did it. Okay, that doesn't look as horrible as I thought it would. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I need some practice with my braids, but that's okay. Let's do the other side. I'm really excited now. Okay, here we go. You guys. Okay, okay, it looks really cute. That, that makes me excited. Okay. Tighten, 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 tighten. Oh, it's cute. It's just a little bit more poofy on the front here. Oh, I did it. Oh, you guys, this looks so cute. I, I did it. I did a hairstyle. So here's the front. There's my face. It actually looks really cute, you guys. 
it sticks up a little bit on the sides but honestly I really like the way that it looks and here are just a couple of pictures that I took this is the before shot when I did this hairstyle the first attempt with the bigger hair ties compared to after with the little clear ones I think that overall it looks neater and cleaner and I actually really like the way that this looks on her I think it suits her sporty personality also I'm thinking about renaming her to Sandra what do y'all think no, I was so excited with how that turned out. I decided just to leave it in Marita's hair. I had to change dolls. So we're here with Sage now because again, she has the same texture hair as Maritza, that kind of curly, wavy. Look how beautiful that is. I haven't even done anything to it. And she's already giving princess vibes. Ugh. All right, so next we're going to try what I'm calling the Twisted Pony. And this is from Audrey McClellan on Instagram. So I'm watching the video. Hey everyone, Audrey and Victoria, quick ponytail hairstyle. So with two ponytails, one on top of the other, take that top one, I pull the hair tie down a little bit, and then I split it, and I twist it once, and then I twist it one more time in the same direction, and then I simply pull that bottom ponytail right through, and I just tighten it up. I love how this one is. It's so quick, it's so easy, and it's so pretty too. So definitely try this one, save it, and follow us for daily hairstyles. Okay. That doesn't look too hard. Let's, let's give it a go. This is a pony. So, oh, I got my couch wet. She started off by putting the, doll, the girl's hair in two ponytails, one on top and one on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my doll's hair and I'm gonna separate it into the top and bottom layers. This is just a mess of hair! These little short hairs that are supposed to keep the wig cap from showing are a big pain in the butt right now. That's not terrible. Okay, now we're gonna take a hair tie and we're gonna tie it in a ponytail. Our first ponytail is done. Actually really cute as is, even if I just did the hair down. She's so pretty. We're gonna take the bottom half now. We're gonna take the first one and we're gonna flop it over the top. We're going to take the rest of the hair and put it in a little pony right here at the nape of the neck. I think it's the nape of the neck. About right here. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take another hair tie and make a little ponytail there. Okay, tight. Perfect. So here's her hair so far. We have A broken hair tie. No, I'm sad. Why are two ponytails giving me such a hard time? <laughs> Mother of goodness. All right, we're just gonna have to use the clunky clunks. Here's the situation. One ponytail on the top, one ponytail at the back. All these crazy little short hairs ruining everything. Now we're gonna attempt the rest of this. So, she takes her the top ponytail, loosens it just a bit, and sticks two fingers through a hole right above that ponytail. We're gonna twist it. No! Okay, twist, one is done. <laughs> Pull the ponytail over. Twist again. <laughs> this does not look good. This this is what we've got so far. Okay, we got the twist. Now we're gonna take the rest of the ponytail from below and we're gonna pull it through. It's not perfect at all. But like from the angle that I'm looking at it, this side does not look good. It looks very bad from there. 
but that's okay. And like from the front, it's bumpy, but that's fixable. It's not bad, y'all. It's not bad at all. Just needs a little bit of adjusting, I think. I sound like Linus in Charlie Brown talking about the tiny Christmas tree. Just needs a little love. <sighs> okay. And here's a picture of what it looked like from the back. A little messy, but still kind of elegant. I don't know, is that just me? I don't know. And then here is a look at the hairstyle from all the different angles. That looks really bad. <laughs> but um, from the front, it looks okay. All right, I got Sage's hair back to normal. It took a lot of water. And we're gonna try the next one, which is ca I'm calling Elegant Braided Pony. So let's take a look. by the, how easy it looks, I'm probably gonna have a lot of trouble with it. it. Looks like first thing she did was separate her hair into four sections at the back, two lower ponytails, and two braids right at the back sections of her hair. So let's go ahead and section off the hair for the braids. And pin it right here to the front of the head. And I know it's gonna look very, very silly, but it's out of the way. And we're going to repeat with the other side. Can I do anything for you? Nah, it's okay. Can I kiss you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, all done sectioning. So we've got two ponytails here at the back of the head and we have our two sections separated at the top of the head for the braids. I think we're good so that we can pull the sections down and start braiding them. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to try the other part. Okay, those don't look very even just from where I'm looking. <laughs> I am, but it's fine. It's okay. You don't have to do that. Oh, you're cute. <gasps> what is all over Sage's legs? No! But we're not gonna have a sunny day for a long time. Sorry. There's dye stains from something that Sage was wearing all over her legs on the backs. So she's gonna need a dye treatment, which means putting oxy acne cream on her and leaving her in the sun for ages. Look at that. Where did that come from? Uh, well, you know what we could do is we could, I can, um... <gasps> it's 
Is it from this dress? Yeah. It's all over her body. Well, here's what we can maybe do. Um, we can go to like, we can go to the hardware store and buy some UV lights and put her in a dark room and then have the UV light on like a lamp. That might work. We'll figure it out. Whatever you need, I'm here for you. Okay. I think like you'd use a hook. Thank you. Sage is one of my favorite dolls. Know, we'll fix her. Don't worry about it. Don't tell the others. Looks like the girl takes the braids and she crisscrosses them over the pigtails. I'm take it and we're gonna loop the hair through, through this part right here. I think that'll reach. Nope, that won't reach, okay. We need to go a little bit further with the braid. I think we've got enough length now with these braids so that we can take the braid and we're gonna crisscross it over the head like this. Find a hole and we're going to loop the ponytail through it. Okay, okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take the other braid and we're gonna repeat. Okay, this is what we've got thus far. Not bad, not bad, okay. Oh no, she left it. That's how she left it, great. So we're just gonna adjust everything so that we can hide it all. And we're gonna give it a good little brush here. That is not bad, because the back looks really cute, y'all. This is what we ended up with. It just looks really nice and elegant. And here's a better picture of the back. This turned out so good, you guys. I will definitely be doing this one again, especially on dolls with this kind of hair texture. It looks so beautiful. I will be taking more care with the front next time because I think we've got a winner. And because I don't have any more patience for that, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a sweet comment below, and hit the subscribe button to join the Lucky 13 Studios family. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram at aglucky 13 studios for more behind the scenes content and a look into my personal life to see what I'm up to when I'm not active on YouTube. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you again in my next video real soon. Bye now.